of a we continue our two a day series with a look at Science Hill. The toppers are coming off a six and four season in which they nearly won the conference along with beating Dobbins Bennett along the way. Now on top of the win over the Indians, the toppers, they were also able to take down Greenville on the road and they'll look to have that same type of impact this season. Now they had one of the most potent offenses in the area with Stacy Carter and company chalking up 30 or more points in seven contests. Now a big reason for the explosiveness was the plethora of weapons which were anchored by first year quarterback Jackson Diamond. Now it's been a year later given the toppers more experience and Carter knows this will be huge if this team wants to reach new heights have a lot of kids back that have played a lot on both sides of the ball, which is uh, exciting. But uh, it, these same people last year, you know, they were getting their first taste. The first game that they played at Lisbethan was some of their first varsity starts. So, uh, you know, now we have a full season uh, that, that we have went through, and then they went through some other sports, some basketball, some baseball. And I just think that makes you a better uh, player all the way around with that experience. Now we brought up Diamond earlier and he really is just the tip of the iceberg for these toppers with the senior chalking up over 2,000 yards and 23 touchdowns last season. Now one of his favorite targets, Cole Torbett, he'll also be back for the Johnson City squad who chalked up almost 700 receiving yards with Baylor Brock also holding it down in the backfield. Now this squad is just as good, if not better on the defensive side with the black shirts getting anchored by Justice Sutton and Cade Fleeman at the second level. Now all these guys are heading into their final season with the team that features over 30 seniors on the roster. So yeah, you can imagine these guys are ready to do some damage this season. I just expect a bunch of hungry guys, a bunch of guys that really want to play, that really want to win. You know, guys that come in with the attitude that they, um, they want to dominate the game. And um, you see that, you see that throughout all the 36 seniors that we have. I think that's the main thing. I mean, you can have a bunch of stars on your team, but if you're not all, if you don't all have good chemistry together, you're not going to have a good football team.